Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob Torres from wikijackson.com and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a randomized selection list in PHP and HTML. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, here's going to be the finished product of what we have and of course you can add styling and all that to your finished product to make it actually look good. But basically every time we refresh the page, these words are going to display randomly in a different order every single time. And as we go through the tutorial, you'll see the many different ways that you can change and customize this to fit your needs. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open up your favorite text editor to use for making web pages. I'm using Sublime Text 2 for mine. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is going to be the finished product of the code of what you're going to have. Basically, we are creating an array which is going to store the three things that we want to randomly be displayed. And we're also basically going to randomly choose three of the things from that array. And we're going to shuffle those random, those three randomly chosen things from here. And then we're going to display them in something that a normal human can read on your page and echo them out onto your body. So let's go ahead and clean off this code and get started with a new document. Alright, so here we are with the bare bones of an HTML5 document. So let's go ahead and get started with the PHP coding of this uh, page. So we're going to open up our PHP tags, opening and closing, and space them out a bit. And basically in here, we're just going to make our array, or the variable that will store our array. We're going to name this rand list array, like that. That's going to be equal to an array like that and we're going to fill in some values here in a second whoops like not like that like that there we go alright so basically what we've done is we've created an array and we're going to put in the list items right here so we'll have purple and we're just using colors as an example you could have anything right here whether it be a string or another variable or something else from somewhere else uh, you can do anything inside there and we're going to put this inside a variable so we can execute it in other things easier. Now the next thing we're going to do is create a rand keys variable. The name of this doesn't matter, but I've named it rand keys. And this is basically going to randomly select using the array rand function. It's going to randomly select a number of items from whatever array you specify it to be. So we have to fill in these parentheses with two parameters. The first one is the array that we want to be choosing from. And with a comma and a space, after that, we need to specify the number of items that we want to choose from that array. In this case, we want to choose three, as we want to choose from these three items in here. And we'll put a semicolon and go down to the next line. Now, basically, what's going to happen is if we're randomly choosing three things, it's basically going to choose purple, red, and orange in that, or in that order like that. And it's going to stay like that every single time. So what we want, what we want to do is shuffle this, shuffle using the shuffle function in PHP. Did I spell that right? No, I did not. It's two Fs, shuffle, there we go. And basically, we're just going to put in this variable of rand keys in here. So now what we're doing here is we're shuffling uh, the three, the randomly selected three items from this list, and we're going to shuffle them with this function right here. And by shuffle, I mean we're going to mix it up so that each time it's displayed, it's going to be displayed differently. Now there's still a problem if we were to display this on our page. Uh, it's going to give us numerical values rather than the actual purple, red, and orange due to the way that arrays work in PHP. Basically, when we're randomizing uh, three things from here, what this is taking is actually the values for each of these. And if you know how arrays work in PHP, then the first one usually has a val value of zero, the second one would be one, two, and so on and so forth as you go up the list of your array. So when we're selecting three things, what it's going to display is one, zero, one, and two randomly, and it's going to shuffle that. So what we want to do right here, down on the next line, is create three variables, and we're going to call them rand choice one. Let me decapitalize that H. And we're just going to set it equal to this array. And I'll explain all this code after I'm writing it out with a bracket. And we're going to have this rand keys variable right here another bracket and we're going to have zero inside there and a semicolon at the end and I'll copy this and make three of them because we need to display out three items from our list on our page so ran choice two and ran choice three and keys one and two so now let me explain this basically what we're trying to do is when we echo this out on our page which I'll just go ahead and write out the code right now 
All right, so what I've done is just created three PHP tags, and I'm echoing out these three uh, items right here from the list down here. As you can see, I'm just echoing out that variable. So basically what this variable is, is it's going to translate those numerical values that I was talking about before, such as 0, 1, and 2, and it's going to redisplay the actual value or the whatever you have as a string or a variable or whatever displayed inside here. And to do this, we're just going to take the array, and we put that in the nice variable up here, and we put it down here, and we're going to take uh, the value of whatever was randomized by this. So basically, this picks out three random items and it shuffles it, however, and whichever one it sets as zero after it's done shuffling right here will then read be displayed as whatever the string was. So let's say it randomly selected purple, red, and orange, because that's obviously what it does, and then it shuffles it to be red, orange, and purple. Then zero is going to be one, or zero is going to be red, one is going to be orange, and two is going to become purple. And so these are then going to display this out as red, orange, and purple on our page rather than 0, 1, and 2. So that's all we're doing with these three down here. And believe it or not, we're actually done with the coding portion. So let's go ahead and save this and hop on over to Google Chrome and refresh the page. And nothing changed except for obviously the values because this is the exact same code as it was before when, we were, when I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. But now basically you can see every time we refresh the page, it's going to display us a different random... Uh, order and values and all that stuff on this so really everything is randomized by this and this can be useful for many different things on your website okay so here I've just quickly put together a possible use for uh, this randomization list thing that we were just talking about so let's say you want to have some sort of captcha on like say a contact form or something to where a uh, user can't just spam you and send you a bunch of emails at once to where they have to keep on entering in a different value every time the page reloads which you can see every time the page reloads it gives us a two different values to add and it gives us one of these as the correct answer which is 12 in this case and one is going to be uh, one to two values higher or one to three values higher and this one's going to be four to six values higher so these answers are always going to change and there's always going to be only one answer and uh, it, it, this is basically a foolproof way to create a CAPTCHA system for your website. Though it will be easy, easily able to get around, chances are uh, you're not going to have a bunch of major hackers trying to hack your contact form on your website. And if you do, you can find out more complicated ways to do this, but this should work for any basic contact form. So I'll go ahead and open up Sublime and show you what I've done here. Basically, I've created two variables called rand1 and rand2, which are the two values that are going to be taking place in our simple addition or, subtract or subtraction equation, whatever you want to have. It really doesn't matter. So basically, I'm randomizing numbers from 1 to 10, as you can see here, and I'm just putting those in a variable, and it's going to be displayed out right here. And it's going to be added to, uh, this is just what's displayed down here. This isn't actually any sort of code. This is just what's dis displayed on the page. And we're going to echo out another random number, which is from 1 to 10. So these could be the same, or they could be different. And it's all completely random using the PHP random function, as you can see right here. And I'm also creating another band another variable called correct answer which is just the answer of these two being added together just as you would down here and so basically what we're doing is we're taking that correct answer and we're putting it in an array with uh, uh, two other answer choices which I made by just adding uh, either a value one to three higher than the correct answer or a value four to six higher than the correct answer which means we'll never get two of the same answers as one will be the correct answer one will be slightly higher and one will be even a little more higher and we put those in an array and we use that same random array choosing method that we used before to display those out in a try radio checklist as you can see right here so I'll go back into Chrome so let's say uh, they refresh the page or they load up the page and they're granted with this and so they have to answer it they can say six and you can set up a PHP form to where if that's right then it'll say correct you can move on and if it's wrong and say you answer seven or twelve and it'll say incorrect or you are not human or you can't contact on this page or whatever you can this is obviously completely customizable this is just the base model of what you could possibly use for some with something like this alright guys so if you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to show us by giving us a thumbs up and if you didn't enjoy this tutorial or if you found something confusing, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you didn't like about it or what you're confused on. We'll be sure to answer it hopefully soon after you post it. Also, remember that this tutorial will be posted on wikijackson.com under the tutorials page. And also, we are redoing wikijackson right now, completely right now. So if the site's a little iffy and buggy right now, don't worry. There is a new iteration coming very soon. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.